What's up guys, Coach Mandler here, Team Swole Patrol. Hey, in last Flex Friday's video routine, I asked you a very simple question in regards to the channel and uh, the direction we're going with the channel, and that was to get a better idea of what I bring to the table and what you want to see more of in regards to how I can help you achieve your goals inside the gym. How I can get you from point A to point B faster and more efficiently and make you really enjoy what you're doing and keep the ball rolling and just get you where you want to be faster. Okay, that's what it's all about to me as your coach. And uh, first off, let me say thank you for all of the responses that I got. I'm humbled by it. And let me just say that it makes my job as a coach far more easy and efficient if I know where we stand together, okay? With coaching, a lot of it is just about um, opening the lines of communication, having good feedback and correspondence from you, and the more we have of that, the better I can help with everything you're trying to do inside the gym. So first off, thank you for everyone that did reply, and again, if you have any questions, please leave those questions in the comment section below so I can hook you up, tighten you up with a video response, and get you where you want to be. Now. On to today's video. I'm gonna be hooking you up with a kick-ass lower body routine, and that's because I was reading through all those replies, all the remarks about what you wanna see more of, and a lot of people said, hey, I understand that a lot of dudes are content with being human light bulbs, having big ass upper bodies and little pencil dicks for legs. Some people are cool with that. Me personally, I'm not, and the reason I typically do more upper body stuff is because that's what typically satisfies more people, all right? There's a lot of dudes out there that are content with that. But if you're not, today's video is gonna be for you. I'm gonna do the same thing we typically do on a Flex Friday routine, take you from the very beginning of the routine all the way to the very end and replicate that in a manner that is suitable for a lower body workout. So today we're gonna to be doing some squats and I'm gonna take you through the entire routine, explain everything we're doing, why we're doing it, and how we'll help you build more strength, speed, explosiveness, muscularity, and work capacity so that you have the, the, the athletic look and the athletic makeup that will allow you to look like and be able to kick some ass both inside and outside the gym. Talking core activation work, speed and explosiveness work, strength work, supplemental and accessory work so that you can tie everything together and have that ass kicking capability and be able to drop your drawers and look the part too. So please, do yourself and me a favor and avoid being one of those human light bulbs that feels like they are completely um, allergic to any lower body work. Try this routine out, you might even like it. And if you do have any questions that you want me to address via any video, whether that be just a video routine or just some video Q&A, leave those in the comment section below and I will get to them as soon as possible. Now, let's get to today's man quotient building lower body routine. All right, right after the dynamic warm-up, I did do a set of suitcase deadlifts to, to really activate the, um, the core and prevent any power leaks, but forgot to video it, so I apologize about that, but... Right after doing that core activation work, that anti-lateral flexion work, um, did this priming set where basically just dumbbell snatches with a superset of doing kettlebell swings. Great way to really stimulate the nervous system, get my body used to moving fast and explosively through the same movements that I'm going to be using for the core lift, which is going to be a speed squat. And um, on that note, I want to do a quick thing uh, on, on your kettlebell swing form. A lot of guys think it's kind of like an extension to the squat. Not so. All we want to do is focus on sitting our butt straight back, getting a good hip hinge, and then snapping those hips, getting good hip extension when you're doing that. Hump that kettlebell quick, fast, and in a hurry. All right? So don't go into a full squat with that. Just send them back and um, treat it almost like you would if you were jumping straight up, all right? So, nevertheless, what we're doing here is uh, something I don't do that often, a cambered bar squat, just doing some speed work with that, eight sets, two reps, working on increasing that rate of force development, and doing so with, uh, with a different bar. I like the cambered bar, it feels good. It feels good, and it's uh, a little shock to your back too, and uh, added a little bit of a mini pause at the bottom, but 
great way to really build some speed out of the hole and and really jack that squad up uh, for those one to to lift more and, and also lift more explosively. And after that, doing some high step ups, great way to really spruce it up a little bit, make it a little bit more challenging. One of the things that uh, with step ups, a lot of people dick up is allowing that um, that stabilization leg, that down leg, to do more of the work. And one of the simplest ways to, to prevent that from happening and making sure that step-up leg is getting the bulk of the work is to keep that other leg locked out and pulling that toe up with some dorsiflexion. That will allow you to really, really target the hamstrings, the glutes, and the quads more of that step-up leg instead of kind of cheating, if you will, with uh, kind of kicking up to initiate the movement. And here just doing a little bit of core activation work wrapped in to my um, weak point training. You know, any anterior loaded squat variation like this, uh, any, any front squat is going to light up your core as well as your upper back, but that especially is a great way to, to torch up your obliques too. So getting all the benefits of strengthening your, your core as well as your glutes, hamstrings, and your um, and your, your quads and back too. So fantastic weak point exercise. And finishing up today, just doing some some on hamstring flexion work. The single leg stability ball leg curl. It's a little tough. Uh, if you've never done these before, try doing the, the regular bilateral version where you have both legs on there. But basically all you're doing is pulling those heels to your ass and while doing that, pulling your hips up. So everything from your shoulders to your knees in perfect alignment. And right after doing about eight reps per leg of that, finishing up with just some simple stability ball leg bridges. This circuit is just a fantastic way to finish up your lower body routine by torching your hamstrings and glutes for strength and aesthetic gains. Hey guys, thanks for checking out today's hardcore below the belt work. If you dig what you saw in today's video and you want more of the same, from this point on, then let me know by hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel so we can continue to um, you know, give you what you want and help you achieve your goals inside the gym faster and more efficiently. So do that and if you are piecing together your own program, taking the bull by the horns and want to know some insider tips that will help uh, move the needle in the right direction, then please do yourself a favor and pick up a free copy of the Muscle Building Blueprint that I've put together for you by clicking on this button right here if you're on a computer or if you're on a cell phone or a tablet, simply go to the description area and click on the first link that you see there. When you do that, I'll take you to another free gift page which will outline everything you're gonna be getting with this kick-ass free gift as well as what you need to do in order to allow me to email it directly to your inbox this second. Like I said, it's a kick-ass gift that will help you dial in your program, simplify things, and help you get faster and more efficient gains on a consistent basis. So do that right now and I can guarantee you, you're gonna move the needle and start getting the gains that you want from the hard-ass work that you're putting on inside the gym. Appreciate your time, guys. Have a good one. Mandler.